hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will again extend our learning with the power automate flows concepts right so from the past two weeks we are making videos on the power automate and we will continue doing so to learn the different aspects of the power automate so this time today uh, we will learn about uh, the integration between business central microsoft teams and power automate flows right so let's open the power automate flow and click on create right so this time uh, we will learn about the instant cloud flow how to use this instant cloud flow and using this flow we will try to create our new customer not only in the business central automatically but also uh, post a message in one of our channel in the Microsoft Teams, right? So for example, you can see here that I have a team called Contoso. Let me click on add channel and let's name this channel new D365 BC customers. Click on add. So I have got the new channel now. So what we will do when we run this flow, not only this flow will create a new customer here, but it will also post a message. Okay. And obviously automatically, if you want that whenever a new customer gets added in the business center, it should post a message in the group of the teams. Uh, we can always do so via automated cloud flow, which we learn. Uh, like last week uh, when we when we have done the integration between the business central and the SharePoint Okay, so let's learn about this instant cloud flow and what it is saying it should be triggered manually as needed that means it It's a flow which you can trigger manually whenever you require Okay, so let me click on this and obviously the first thing which we have to do is that Create d365 pc customers so this is the name of my flow and when i want this i want this to be manually trigger a flow flow button for mobile that means it's a button which you can click via your mobile application as well that means if you own an android phone or a iphone then also you can download the power automate app from the app store and you just simply run that flow via your phone as well so let me select this one click on create now you can see it's a little bit different now because our requirement is that we will create a new customer in the business central via flow so to create a new customer obviously we need some information right which user will manually input then only uh, so power automate can create a new customer right so it is asking us to add an input, add that input which will pass to the business central and the teams. So click on add input and now you can see that there are different ways of options of user input which we can select. Like if we want to give any text input, boolean input, file type, email type, numbers, integer numbers or date type. So you can select these options. Let's say our requirement is to create a new customer. So I'll click on text now here the in the first column we can type the name of the title like of the field let's say the first thing first is the customer number right so this will be the field and here it will be the input which user will do when they run the flow let's add another input which will be the customer name right let's add one more thing like address address right then let's say email okay so these four fields we will provide in this in this page uh, and user will input the data and that data will uh, sufficient to create a new customer in the business central right so that's the thing 
now click on new step and based on this data what is my requirement what is my first requirement that to create a new customer in the business central so select the business central and select this section called create record because we are now will create a new record click on this select the environment as simple as that company table name and now it has given me certain fields of the customer which I can select from the data which user will input here okay so you can see here that when I click on this I've got the option from the manually trigger a flow section that what are the values I want to be input here so yes a customer number field is there in my flow so I'll select this so based on the user input in this field that value will get passed to the number field of the customer table then in the display name we can select customer name right type can be let's say company because this customer is a company in the address line one this will be the address and let's say for the email we can select email right so these are the four fields which we will uh, take as an input from the user and pass to the business central so that's it now for this flow uh, let's click on new step and now the second requirement is to post a message on our particular channel in the teams so select the teams and here you, we have to select the action so you can see here that there are so many actions available that we can create a team meeting we can add members we can create a team as well we can add channel as well so so many things are there our requirement is that post a message in a chat or a channel so let me select on this and you can see here that the first field is post as flow bot so which means that whenever a message get posted in a channel how it should look like who post that message so currently the default option is flow bot which means uh, that message should come as a power automate bot okay but you have an option that you can select a user or any other thing but uh, the best thing is flow bot post in like in which channel you want to post so I want to post in a channel of which team the team is Contoso because you can see here the team is Contoso and in that Contoso I have this channel called new d365 BC customers okay so now let's type a message which will get post automatically like congratulations team we have we have just got our new customer the number of the customer and the name of the customer okay so this is kind of a small message we will post in our group let's save this and now it is saved got it now go to the my flows and this time this instant flow is a little bit different 
than our other flows which we uh, ran last times so if you see here when i play when i put my cursor in this flow i've got this link called run but when i put my cursor here there is no run button no run button here right because i told you that this instant flow can be can be manually trigger okay so we have an option available to manually trigger this flow let's click on this run and now it is started running so first option it is doing that it is signing in with the user id everything is done now click on continue and now this is the first part of our flow which is running that is user input we have to give the user input in these four fields like customer number let's say cust004 customer name is let's say go digit consult okay and then let's say address and then let's say email right so just run the flow and your flow run successfully started to monitor it go to the flow runs page so we can open this and you can see that it is successfully completed if i click on this we can see that all our sections ran successfully this one this one and this one now first of all open the business central refresh it and you can see that this new customer gets automatically added in the business central if you open this you have this number name right so this gets automatically added now go to the teams and here also you can see that in this channel i have got a new message from the power bot okay that congratulations team we have just got a new customer the customer number and the customer name so in this way we managed to automatically post a message which will uh, post a message on the teams which uh, will be seen by all our uh, company members and then also we can automatically create the data in the business central as well so this is the power of the instant flow and uh, that's it for the today's video next uh, next week uh, we will try to create a custom table in the business central and see how to post a message on the custom table via power automate okay so i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching